guys, welcome to this we're awesome family. I actually started filming and then touched some kind of button and the computer said, forget you. And I was like, great, I gotta start over. But anyways, you missed it. I had everything in my fridge and what I was gonna use to make some um, fake pasta, squash da. I heated up the squash to make the noodles. I don't know if you've ever used spaghetti squash. Um, but this is what it looks like when you heat it in the microwave and then you can scrape the insides out after you remove the seeds and you're left with it's even better than pasta because it's actually food where pasta is just pretty much the same same ingredients they used to make paste for elementary school kids yeah so think twice about putting it in your mouth you may want to replace it you can use noodles if you want to do this raw my son and husband are not really fans of noodles I try to sneak them to them every once in a while and I get the same response. So maybe I'll stop. Anyway, let me just dig out these extra seeds. And I also want to touch on um, something I've been struggling with and that is motivation. I twisted my ankle um, and so I've been off licking my wounds a little bit. I'm not really good with an injury and God bless my husband because he's, he's the one who has to say, honey, this will pass and you'll be back to your normal hyper stabby self black. But I'm not good as Eeyore. I'm much better as Tigger. Uh, but I knew that even though I didn't want to limp downstairs into the kitchen and do anything, uh, it would speed up healing if I did. And I'm not one to rest it, so that was really my only option was to eat well and hope that that gave my body what it needed to heal. I know the body heals itself, but um, you can certainly, certainly hinder it or help it with what we choose to put in our system. I'm going to throw the squash shells out. I don't want to hear anything from anyone about not planting seeds because it's almost fall and I left my green thumbs in New York. My garden was minimal this year. I did get some nice peppers, some cucumbers, um, but I don't know. I'm in Tennessee from New York. If anyone has suggestions as to what grows here besides beards, can you just let me know in the comments? Thanks. Okay, so I've got the noodles done. Like I said, I nuked a spaghetti squash with for about eight minutes. Poke some holes in it. I learned that the hard way. Because if you don't, you will have a squash grenade in your microwave. And that's, you know, not really fun. So, for the sauce, we're going to do... Dun, dun, dun. Can you see my blender? Yes. My old, old blender with the hole in the top because it fell in and I actually blended it with a breakfast smoothie because nothing says love like a chocolate cherry smoothie with Tupperware blended into it. They survived. Whatever. Okay, so the tomato my husband buys. When I send my husband to the grocery store, he will pick produce that is the size of your head. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's a pretty big tomato. Mm -hmm. So that will make a lot of sauce, right? We're going to just cut that a little bit. I'm going to warn you now, my blender is so loud. Anyways, yes, motivation. I had none. Uh, this isn't like me. I'm usually very big on the pep talking and the, I don't know, you know, I'm all for it. If I'm in it, I'm in it 100%. But I couldn't even think about going into the kitchen. I was just blue. I don't know what it was. not like me. And anyways, I did the usual stuff. I did my praying. I did my, a little bit of journaling. I told myself it would pass, but uh, in the meantime, I just want to say, sell yourself on it the way you would someone else. Tell yourself why you're doing what you're doing. Tell yourself the benefits of it. If you have to eat something and you are not hungry and not feeling it, get right on your phone and Google the health benefits of whatever it is you're about to have. That helps. You know, it does. Like, I don't always feel like eating greens or um, washing my juicer for the 800th time in one day, but I will do it because it's for my good, you know? So, anyways, I digress. Uh, I'm very big on eating the rainbow, that's why I'm including these little peppers, even though they're little, they will make a difference. And I think I'm going to chop those instead of blend them because of aesthetics. My knives, seriously. No. They shouldn't even count as knives because they're so dull by now. Does anybody want to send me knives? Nice sharp ones? I love that. Love it, love it. I promise to only use them for good. Okay. 
And then I have green onions, which I do use the ends because they are the most flavorful. And I'm going to use the ugly part in the sauce. Bye bye. Which we won't see those. And then the rest of them, I'm going to chop. <laughs> I'm going to try to chop and scatter. Oh, yeah. All over my zoodle. My scoodle. I don't know what you call it. Spaghetti squash noodle. Just call it spaghetti squash noodle. Yeah, my family doesn't like zoodles. I try to sneak them to them. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but they just, you know, they're on to me. <laughs> so I've got to be more stealth. I'm gonna throw the seeds out again. Not planting them. You know why? Because I'm like I'm a rebel like that. Okay. So I also have here, because I, th I figured to go with a curry flavor profile. Yeah, pick like, when I don't know what to make, I'll go through the countries, literally. I'm like, am I feeling Italian, Mexican? Am I feeling, feeling Indian? Am I feeling, where else is there, culinary-wise? Nothing, really. So we're going to go with Thai. Yeah, Thai, because there's curry and lime. Ooh, as you can see, I'm a big fan of measuring. Now I'm going to do the curry, and I like to make it real orange. Curry is good for you. Garlic, if you want to use the actual salt, go ahead. But I tell my son, this is how I keep the girls away from him. He's eight. He buys it. And then, shh, celery adds sodium, and I know this. But a little bit of sea salt, you know. Nobody's going to die from it. All right, so let's blend this up. I excuse the loud blender. It's ancient. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. At least it's not me. I've been stuck for the past few days. Ladies, marry a godly man. They'll be there for you when you're stuck. That is going to be delish. So, we will, let's see here, I'm going to take that, we're going to, we're going to put it in with the squash. Okay, I'm going to mix that. Give me just a second. We've got the spaghetti squash and we've got the sauce we made. Mixing that up. Look at this. The most beautiful blended soup with noodles you've ever seen. Okay, it smells really good. I can say that too. Um, before I plate it, I am going to sprinkle my rainbow peppers on there. I'm going to sprinkle my green onion on there. Yay! I'm gonna have a healthy, happy family. I'm gonna have a awesome family. Well, I don't know. I knew Chris Washington. Okay, but anyways, so we have this rainbow delight. It's so messy in this in this uh, bowl. But that's okay. You love me anyway. Yeah. So here's my rainbow delight. Yeah. I'm gonna serve it in really pretty bowls, and I'll probably put fresh basil on top. Uh, cause that's how you roll. My mother's 100% Italian, so you know. You gotta finish with the basil, because I can't do mozzarella, so I'm gonna finish with the basil. Anyway, so that's what I wanted to say to you today, is just to stay motivated, however you can, whether that's uh, finding activities that recharge you, if you need to take a break from thinking about what to make all the time, and be creative in other ways, and remember the other aspects of yourself, like maybe you like to paint, or read, or write, or call someone and connect, whatever it is, pray. I think I said that. Uh, there are multiple, multiple ways to reinvigorate yourself so that you don't lose heart and that you don't grow weary in well-doing. It is worth it. Hang in there one meal at a time. 
Um, I'm here if you need me. Thanks, guys. And until next time, bye.